Hey guys, I'm back in the shop again this morning, working on my latest project idea. So I've got this idea kicking around in the back of my head. Um, I've got a spot out in the woods that I'm, that I'm clearing a little area, and I've got a bunch of tree stumps that I need to pull. And some of them I can pull with the tractor, but that tractor's not very heavy, and it's um, got issues basically getting traction, trying to pull bigger stumps. So. My plan is to use my, I've got this winch that is mounted on a, um, a portable uh, uh, a hitch adapter, basically. So my original plan was I was just going to take this and I was going to uh, chain it to a tree as an anchor so I could pull. But the problem is when you do that, um, the winch ends up, you know, it's, it flops all over the place if it's just hanging on a chain and it makes it makes it hard to get the, the winch rope to, to spool in uh, evenly. So I started thinking about how I could get a good solid anchor and I've got an idea that I'm going to see if I can build. So I'll give you a kind of a, um, kind of a preview. So imagine that this bucket is a tree and my idea, this is my, my CAD model here, but my idea is to build something that's got some some movable wings on each side so it can adapt to different size trees. Um, I've got this chunk of tubing that I had for another project and I already got it uh, drilled out. So this will, yeah, this is just like you'd find on the back of your truck and this will slide, my receiver will, or my, uh, my portable winch mount will, move, will slide into that receiver. So anyway, this will get welded onto steel plates and with these wings, I should be able to get this thing uh, to attach really securely to a tree, uh, give myself a good pull point. So, you know, a tree, you know, I suppose you could put it on a telephone post, pretty much anything around um, this thing will hook up to. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with. I've got some, I've had, I had some steel laying around that I'm gonna use. I did pick up a little bit of hardware that I think is going to be what I need to get this thing put together. So I'm going to do some cutting, some welding, and see what I can build. So these pieces here, this is quarter inch stock, it's quarter inch by three. And um, so what I'm gonna do, I figured out, I've got this piece of two and a half inch receiver tube and I'm gonna cut it off. I want it to be as short as possible so everything stays as close to the tree as possible. So I've just figured out how far that receiver is gonna slide into there. I'm gonna leave myself an extra quarter of an inch or so. I'm gonna cut that off. And then this piece of receiver tube will get welded in between those plates and that's going to be the basic structure and then I'll build pivots that come off either side of that. All right, so a slight miscalculation here. I got this receiver tubing cut just perfect. So it can be as short as possible to fit on there. But what I didn't account for was when this is, gets welded to this plate, I'm not gonna have room for, to insert my pins 
with my with my swing arms on. I would if the swing arms were completely rotated out, but I want to be able to attach this thing to the tree and then come in and, and put the winch on last. So that's not going to work. But fortunately, I've got another chunk of tubing. This was on something else. I just cut it off and this is what I'm going to use now. So it'll stick out a little bit further, but now uh, I can get the, the whole assembly attached to the tree and then come in and have room to be able to get a pin and attach the winch. So a little change of plans, but no problem. So I got this frame, for lack of a better term, assembly built. Now I need to figure out my uh, my pivoting arms. So I'm going to use, I've got this, this two inch steel tubing, super strong and something I've got and I can get a couple of hooks on it. So um, I've already been playing with trying to get some big holes drilled in here. I need to get the biggest uh, bit that I have. I've got an inch and an eighth bit and it's not quite big enough to get the hooks on there like I want. So I'm gonna to have to get a little bit bigger drill bit, but um, I need to figure out the length of these. So go back, to my, go back to my tree, and I've been playing with some just real trees out there trying to kind of figure out what makes a lot of sense. So I think I've got like 25 inches of material here, um, but I don't think I need to go longer than 10 inches. I think that should be more than enough, and I may end up cutting that down. But I think for now, for starters, um, I'm gonna go with 10 inches. I'll see, you know, I don't want this thing to be super heavy, so I'd like it to be as short as possible, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with 10. Um, I'll get drills hold and I'll put it all together and I'll see how that feels. And then I can always chop it down shorter if I want to, if it uh, feels like that's too long. I took the grocery getter and ran to Hobo Freight to pick up some cheap step drill bits. That one goes up to an inch and three eighths. So that'll be big enough to get this hole drilled out a little bit bigger for me to take the hooks that I'm going to use. And while I was there, I actually picked up a bandsaw blade. I don't have very high expectations of tools from there, right? You know, generally, but this one says that it's so Rathrum, Idaho. This one says it was made in the U.S. So I think it's worth giving it a shot. The one I've got's got broken teeth and it's pretty dull. So we'll give that a shot too. But I'm going to get this. Um, so there you go. You can see the kind of the basic structure of this thing. So I need to get uh, locate. First, I'm going to drill these holes out to, I don't know, I might take them as big as I can. And then I'll locate holes on this side. I need to drill holes here, which are going to take a half inch bolt. So that bolt is what this hole, um, what these arms are going to pivot on. Once I, once I get that done, um, it'll be time to get, actually get this uh, receiver tube welded in. to get this receiver tube welded on to these plates. And I think what I'm gonna do, I've got some reference lines here, but I think in order to keep everything as straight as possible, I'm just gonna go ahead and bolt this thing together. And then I can sandwich it and give me a... Kind of 
kind of create a little vice for myself. I decided to go ahead and just assemble the whole thing so I can make sure that I had everything nice and square because these bolts are, I need to be able to get these bolts uh, through these pieces of pipe once together. So I got everything measured. I think I've got it centered well. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some tacks on there, just get it locked into position, and then I'll take it back apart and get these wings out of the way and then I can go ahead and burn everything in. I almost forgot one of my design features. So the pivoting wings will keep everything, um, you know, solid in the in the left to right position, the horizontal position. But but vertically, the thing's going to want to flop around on the tree. So I'm going to add a couple of chunks of angle iron on the one on the top and one on the bottom, and that should keep it anchored um, so that it won't move up and down and make it easier to get it mounted on the tree too. I think. All right, so I need to give it a coat of primer and paint, but I thought I'd better test it first before I go to all that effort. I might cut these bolts off too. Those need, don't need to be that long. So there it is. Well, that's not bad. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Maybe like, I don't know, probably between 10 and 15 pounds. I think that's gonna work. So, I don't think I explained why I needed these great big holes here. I'm planning to use just basic two inch straps to hold this onto the tree. So I've got a hole in the top, top and bottom of these movable arms. So I can put two straps on. These straps are, I just looked at them in the store. They're rated um, for 10,000 pound brake strength. So I'll have two of them on there. So that's 20,000 pounds. That's way more than, way more than this winch can pull. So um, I think as long as I can get them good and tight to the tree so it doesn't, you know, flex and move, I think, uh, I think that should work good. And then I did drill, just because I think it might be a little awkward to get this thing on the tree, I drilled a couple of holes in this top piece of angle. My thinking is I can just use a, a smaller ratchet strap just to get it started. And I'll throw it around the tree and then I can kind of hang it off of that while I work on getting the big straps anchored down tight. So I guess there's nothing to do, but give it a try. All right guys, let's give this thing a whirl. So just in the backyard here, this is kind of a good representative 
tree. This is a, about 22 inches in diameter hickory tree. This is probably about what I similar to what I would use if I'm, uh, if I'm pulling stumps. So I'm just going to take my lightweight ratchet strap. Try to do this so you can see, but I'm just throwing it through that hook or through that hole that I made. Actually, I think it might be easier. Got to find the right technique here. I'm going to put the ratchet side in first. And I can just toss myself the, the other end. Right, that's all I wanted from that, just something so it could hang on the tree. Now I'll bring in the big straps. Yeah, it was definitely a good idea drilling those holes. This would have been a challenge to do these big straps. Without something hanging it on the tree. All right, I'll just cinch these up. I could take this little guy off or just leave it on there. It's not hurting anything. It's on there. Well, there it is. It's anchored on there good. Straps are nice and tight. I gotta make one adjustment, unfortunately. So I was trying so hard to make sure I had this thing set up in the right place. I was worried so much about making sure I, it was in a good position toward the toward the tree. I never did take a measurement of this particular piece of two and a half to see if it would line up there. Look at that. My holes don't line up. I'm three-eighths of an inch off, so that sucks. I'm going to have to, um, ideally, I'll cut this off. That might be a little bit difficult. Maybe I'll do that with an angle grinder. I really don't want, I could hog these holes out, too. But um, if I knock a half inch off the end of this tube here, that'll resolve that. I'll just do that with an angle grinder and that'll take care of it. But well, I am really happy with that. That's a solid design, it's strong. And I think it's gonna serve its purpose really well. So down there, you can see, maybe you can see on camera down there where there's daylight coming through in the timber. That's where the stumps are that I'm gonna be pulling out. But it is hot today, I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll get this, take a half inch off of there so that thing lines up right. 
Um, I'll get a coat of paint on there so it doesn't rust. I'll let that dry and then uh, sometime here in the next couple of days, I'll actually start working on pulling some stumps. So if you're interested in seeing that video, make sure you stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. Um, I will leave a link up above at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing that. I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video.